Welcome back. Um, the show not so feel good right now because I think the culinary world, well, the South African landscape has lost an absolute legend in um, certainly in the culinary arts. Fatima Saido obviously lost her battle to cancer and this has now been kind of released to the world and the shock wave spreading as a result. Absolutely immense. She was a force to be reckoned with. As you see her face, I'm sure, Clem, you are seeing so many culinary memories of your own, so many connections to the show, to your own career path coming to bear. What kind of a loss to the industry and her knowledge in the Cape Malay space? Mm. Uh, why is this making such, such a, a shockwave? Not just the Cape Malay space, but South Africa as a whole. We are suffering this incredible loss right now. You must understand that coming from the chefing industry, being taught in schools. What we are taught is classic French yeah. with a hint of South Africa. What Fatima's done is flip that on its head and taken South Africa, put that on the forefront and taught South African cuisine to the country. Mm. And that is the most important thing. We always talk about trying to tell the South African food story. And she was one of the pioneers when it came to telling that very, Cape, very Cape important Malay cooking story. is not just a combination of flavors. It's not. There's history <laughs> and there's so a story more. to it. And she was more than just a cook. She was a storyteller. And a lot of people tuned in just to also hear her talk and her dog, Sunny, barking in the background during her YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. She became part of South Africa's homes. Yeah. And she got a whole generation cooking during, especially during lockdown. Inspired a whole new generation oh. of foodies. Mm. Um, and of course, uh, tributes understandably have been pouring in. Let's plug into some of that unadulterated love for this incredible human being. Oh, this is a tough one, guys. Um, the first time I met Fatima and her sister Khadija, uh, they reminded me so much of myself with my sisters, because they were so sisters. And um, I instantly, instantly fell in love with both of them. Um, Fatima really meant so much to me. Um, I, I just, I, I cannot imagine what the family is going through, especially a father. I just want to send out all my love, praise to you guys. And I just want to say that um, I'm thinking of you and I am here for you guys. And my deepest, deepest sympathy to all of you. Lots and lots of love from Salome. Fatima Saida will always be remembered for her contribution to our heritage. We, the people in the arts, can't find the words to express our sadness during this time. I wish the family peace, patience, love and condolences. May the Almighty grant her a high abode in paradise. To Fatima, may Allah grant you the highest place in Jannah. And you were a phenomenal person, and people will always remember you, your household name. This morning, it's very sad. This morning, we say goodbye to a cooking legend who changed households forever. Auntie Fatima was one of the most amazing human beings. And even through her trials and tribulations, with her sickness, she still remained positive and oozed out this positivity and was so grateful for each and every day. I was blessed enough to spend some time with her about a month and a half ago. And it was so beautiful talking and seeing a perspective on life. And those are the moments that I will cherish forever. Um. Yeah, honestly, I don't think words can really commemorate what she's done for the community. And I mean, personally for me as well, seeing more importantly, the recipes and the dishes that she shared online and how it sparked up such good conversation. Mm. There was always memories in those comment lists and nostalgia about how her meals would literally bring up those memories for so many people. And again, inspire people to reintroduce those meals into their homes. Because I think a lot yeah. of us got westernized over exactly. the years and forgot some of these, some of these dishes that the she- The why, the reason, exactly, the purpose, and she yeah. brought 
with all those whys back. She gave us a reason to start making these meals again and putting it back into our homes. And I think for me, it's about celebrating a life that was spent, allowing us to celebrate our heritage, yeah. heritage our culture, our flavor, our spice. And I think an it's someone anchor. That's, yeah. She was an anchor. 100%. And when you see how many people have drawn strength from what she's done and what she's represented, mm. how many people call her auntie, how many people connected <laughs> with her as a family member in that sense to her, to her actual family. I'm thinking about that beautiful chemistry with her and Khadija and what that energy was like in our space. Absolutely magical. So the pain must be just on another level right now. So please know that our family, all of our families are sending you nothing but peace and love and prayers right now and rest in peace and absolute culinary and South African legend.